Are you on HRT but find that it's not really improving your symptoms? Are you in menopause and are constantly tired, have mood swings, and are experiencing dryness in your eyes, skin, hair, and even vaginal dryness? Why can't you seem to lose weight, especially around the midsection? Has your doctor ever mentioned the thyroid menopause connection? What is this mysterious connection between the thyroid and menopause. Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, part two in a series of videos, I'm going to talk about the connection between menopause, in particular estrogen and hypothyroidism. The connection between thyroid function and menopause. So we're familiar with perimenopause, marking a period of significant hormonal change in a woman's life where there are constant fluctuations in the levels of our reproductive hormones, particularly estrogen and progesterone. These changes can lead to a range of symptoms, including mood swings, hot flashes, and irregular menstrual cycles. The thyroid gland which plays a pivotal role in regulating metabolism through the secretion of thyroid hormones can also be affected during the perimenopause transition. The connection between declining estrogen levels and thyroid function is a bit complicated since estrogen influences the production and regulation of thyroid hormones. As a result, women may experience symptoms that are common to both menopause and thyroid disorders, such as fatigue and weight changes, making it challenging to distinguish between the two conditions. Things influence on thyroid hormones. Now that we're more aware of how hormone changes affect the thyroid, let's dive into how estrogen has a direct impact on thyroid function by affecting the gland's ability to produce thyroid hormones. Try idothyronine T3 and thyroxine T4. High levels of estrogen can lead to an increase in thyroid binding globulin, TBG, a protein that transports thyroid hormones in your blood. This can reduce the amount of free thyroid hormones available for your body's use potentially leading to symptoms of hypothyroidism. However, low levels of estrogen as seen during menopause can decrease TBG levels, which might also change the balance of thyroid hormones. Additionally, estrogen is known to stimulate the growth of thyroid cells, which can create further problems for thyroid health, including the development of goiters, or other thyroid related disorders. There's also estrogen dominance, a condition where there's an excess of estrogen relative to progesterone. This can also lead to an increase in TBG and subsequently decrease in available thyroid hormone. The ratio of estrogen to progesterone is extremely important for hormone balance. And during menopause, the body's production of estrogen and progesterone decreases. But these decreases are not always proportional. Progesterone levels often fall more significantly than estrogen. This relative excess of estrogen compared to progesterone is what's referred to as estrogen dominance. Are there other ways estrogen becomes disproportionately high? Absolutely. Here are the common factors to watch out for that contribute to estrogen dominance. The first one I already just mentioned. Natural hormone fluctuation. Estrogen can become disproportionately high when going through transitions in life like menopause and even during the fluctuation of a woman's menstrual cycle where natural hormone fluctuations are experienced. Imbalanced body composition. When you have high levels of body fat, this can contribute to higher levels of circulating estrogen. Adipose tissue can produce estrogen through a process called 
aromatization, exposure to xenoestrogens. Certain chemicals found in the environment can contribute to overall increase in estrogen activity. Diet, consuming a diet high in processed foods and low in fiber can affect estrogen levels. Fiber helps bind estrogen in the digestive tract and aids in its excretion. Without adequate fiber, estrogen may be reabsorbed into the bloodstream. Gut health, the gut microbiome play a role in metabolizing estrogens and imbalancing gut flora known as dysbiosis can impair this process and lead to increased estrogen reabsorption. Liver function, impaired detoxification. The liver is responsible for metabolizing and excreting estrogen. If liver function is compromised due to factors like alcohol consumption, or liver disease or toxin exposure, it may not effectively remove estrogen from the body. Stress, cortisol production. Stress leads to elevated cortisol levels, which can inhibit progesterone production and exacerbate estrogen dominance. Medications, for instance, estrogen therapy, hormone replacement therapies, or oral contraceptives that contain estrogen can contribute to estrogen dominance if not properly balanced with progesterone. Certain supplements, some over-the-counter supplements, might indirectly influence estrogen metabolism or mimic estrogen. The aging factor in thyroid and ovarian function. As women age, both thyroid and ovarian function naturally decline. The aging thyroid gland may become less efficient at producing hormones and the body may absorb less iodine, a crucial component in the synthesis of T4. This can lead to a decrease in the conversion of T4 to the more active T3 hormone, further complicating the hormonal balance. Moreover, the aging ovaries produce less estrogen, which, as I previously mentioned, can affect thyroid function. So this connection suggests that the symptoms of menopause and hypothyroidism can worsen by the natural aging process, which is why it is so important to monitor your thyroid function during the menopause years. Diagnosing thyroid issues during menopause. Symptoms overlap between hypothyroidism and menopause. Identifying thyroid issues during menopause can be challenging due to the similarity in symptoms such as fatigue, mood swings, weight gain, irregular menstrual cycles, and cold intolerance. These similarities can lead to misdiagnosis or delayed treatment, as symptoms may be attributed solely to menopausal transitions. It's important for doctors to consider the possibility of thyroid dysfunction when evaluating menopausal women presenting with these common symptoms. The importance of thyroid testing. So given this symptom overlap, thyroid testing becomes an essential tool in distinguishing between menopause-related changes and thyroid disorders. Early detection and treatment of thyroid issues can improve quality of life and prevent potential complications such as cardiovascular disease, which can also be worsened by both hypothyroidism and menopause. Let's look at thyroid testing. Several types of thyroid tests are available to test your thyroid function. And I recommend doing a full panel, including the TSH test, which measures the level of thyroid stimulating hormone in the blood. Elevated TSH levels can indicate hypothyroidism, while low levels may suggest hyperthyroidism. Free T4 test. This assesses the level of unbound thyroxine in the bloodstream, providing a direct measure of the hormone available to body tissues. Total T3 and free T3 tests. These measure the levels of T3 with the free T3 test indicating the hormone not bound to proteins in the blood. Thyroid antibody test. These detect the presence of antibodies against the thyroid proteins, which can indicate autoimmune thyroid disorders such as Hashimoto thyroiditis or Graves' disease. It's essential to consult with your hormone doctor to determine the most appropriate tests based on your individual symptoms and risk factors. In some cases, a combination of tests 
may be necessary to obtain a better picture of your thyroid health and your overall hormone health. Let's take a look at menopause testing. How do you know you're in menopause and it's not a thyroid disorder? First, FSH or follicle stimulating hormone. Elevated levels of FSH are a key indicator of menopause. FSH levels rise as the ovaries begin to produce fewer estrogens. And second, estradiol. Low levels of estradiol, a form of estrogen produced by the ovaries, support a diagnosis of menopause. Other steps to differentiate menopause from thyroid disorders. Determining whether symptoms are due to menopause or thyroid disorder involves a careful look and evaluation of your symptoms. Specific diagnostic tests like the blood tests I've mentioned for hormone levels and also observing the response to treatments. And to recap, the hormonal fluctuations during perimenopause, the influence of estrogen on thyroid hormones and the aging factor in thyroid and ovarian function all contribute to the complex interplay between thyroid function and menopause. Understanding these connections is crucial for the accurate diagnosis and management of symptoms that might arise during this significant life stage for women. Join me in my next video, part three of this series, where I'll outline the many symptoms of both menopause and thyroid disorder in more detail and how they overlap. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll look forward to meeting you in the next video.